the Son became a man, born of a virgin, born under the law, who lived a perfect life of obedience to the law of God. He did all that good duty that was required of us that we failed to do. But he did it in our place so that his perfect obedience to the law would be counted as ours, as if we had done it. So we would stand before God perfect. God sees us as if we had lived Christ's life. And this includes even Christ going all the way to the cross, obeying all the way to the point of the death of the cross, fulfilling the negative penal requirements of the law, becoming a curse for us, bearing the wrath of God in our place, paid for all our sins satisfying God's justice in our place so that we bear our sins no more. And he carried those sins to the grave. He was buried in the grave and left those sins buried there, as it were, but was raised again on the third day and is alive forevermore with a life of victory over sin, death, and the devil. 